My name is Dr. Mel Irvine. I'm a provider here in Southwest Florida and welcome to part two of cancer and hormone therapy in women. Uh, I want to go over some of the options and what we're looking for and why these women have uh, options for hormone replacement therapy. In women uh, who've had a history of cancer, we're, we're looking to sustain their quality of life by maintaining their hormones at the lowest, safest level without putting them at unnecessary risk. Hormones do not cause cancer. They are essentially the fuel for the fire. And to do that, again, we want to maintain you at the lowest, safest levels. And here at my clinic, I try to maintain women with estradiol, estrogen levels between 25 to 50, which is very low. And this low level or these low levels can maintain a woman's health for the rest of her lifespan and her sanity, which is important. Uh, so options for women, also we can't forget about the other essential hormones like progesterone and testosterone. You know, oftentimes women are told progesterone is irrelevant for them if they've had their uterus removed. And I feel that we should probably start with not defining women by their uterus, because uh, we're much more than that and progesterone does much more in the body. So some of these options that women have uh, always, as I mentioned in the first video, at a minimum, women should be on vulvovaginal hormone replacement therapy to maintain the health of the vulvovaginal tissue, whether she is sexually active or not. It's important for the sexually active woman to maintain, but also for later in life so that we prevent infections that will keep her from being hospitalized and yes, uh, some of those infections can even lead to death. So it's very important that we maintain the health of the vulvovaginal tissue, whether a woman is sexually active or not. Now, she also has options for progesterone, you know, whether it be creams and gels or um, oral, um, and she has options for testosterone replacement therapy. Testosterone is a female hormone, just as much as it is in men. Uh, we also have testosterone. So uh, to maintain our testosterone levels, we also have options for creams and gels, injections, and pellets. You just have to find the right provider for you, someone you're gonna be able to connect with, understand, and uh, be able to trust in that they're going to keep you at those, those low safe levels and monitor you closely so that if you were to come down with a reoccurrence or can of cancer or a woman has a high, uh, family history risk of cancer that we can stop the hormone estrogen specifically if need be um, but there is no study to date that shows any correlation with testosterone replacement therapy and cancer in women so they can still maintain some of those therapies and should because it gives them the energy and it maintains their muscle mass uh, and and uh, different systems in the body to maintain their health so that you can get through some of your therapies uh, if you like kind of some of what you hear uh, on this channel please subscribe and like uh, my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Dr. Mel Irvine and you could always call or text us at 239-351-5663. Visit my website at www.sextees.com. Thank you for listening.